Okay, so now we're up to chapter 4, which is about how Krishna departed from the world. At the end of chapter 3, uh, Uddhava explained what Krishna was thinking. After the Mahabharata war, he thought, okay, I've relieved the earth of all these huge armies from all these kings, but what am I going to do about my own army? My own army is huge. And how, how can I get rid of them? How can I relieve the earth of their burden? Nobody can defeat them. The only way that, that I could get rid of them is if they get rid of themselves. But how would they want to get rid of themselves? They would have to be crazy. How could I get them to be crazy? I could get them drunk. And so this was his plan. And uh, chapter 4 begins by saying that some of the scholars in Dwarka knew about this plan and went along with it. So that one day, when Krishna took his entire family to do these auspicious you know, Vedic deeds in this holy place called Prabhasha, the uh, scholars were there, and after receiving so many gifts from Krishna's family, they, they asked, they said, you, you eat now, you please eat and drink, enjoy, here, have some sake. Have some rice wine. Drink up, drink up. Have a little more. And so Krishna's family did, and they got extremely drunk and started to argue with each other. <laughs> and uh, they wound up killing each other. So this way Krishna got rid of his own people, which would have otherwise been impossible. And then chapter 4 says that he alone remained at the end. and He went down to the Sarasati River purified himself in the water, and then sat down against the banyan tree, young banyan tree, put his back against it, put his right foot over his left thigh in some sort of a yoga posture, and began to become very, very contemplative and meditative. And this was how Uddhava found him. So you may be wondering, like, what, how did Uddhava escape all this destruction? Here, I'll, I'll, read. I'll read from the book. I was not present when all this happened, Uddhav told Vidura. The all-attractive spared me the pain of seeing the destruction of his family. A few days earlier, he had told me, you should go to Badri. I, you know, Badri is the place where Vyas lives when, with all the sages. I tried to go, but I couldn't follow his wishes. Instead, I turned around and picked up his trail, unable to bear being away from the embrace of his feet. When I arrived, I saw my kind master sitting all alone, very deep in thought, sheltered beneath a tree on the bank of Sarasati. And at the same time, somebody else comes up, a friend of Vyasdev, who we later find out is Maitreya. And then Krishna begins speaking to the two of them, but only looking at Uddhava and only really speaking to Uddhava. And then he tells Uddhava, I cannot help but love you. Your love for me is so strong that you abandoned my orders and followed me to this hidden place where you will witness the scene of my departure from the world of humans. So then Uddhava asks Krishna for a favor before, before he leaves. He says, from the very core of his heart, would have begged. Please enlighten me with utmost knowledge about the mysterious secrets of your true self by elaborating on the supreme knowledge you explained to the blessed Creator. If I can grasp what you explain, I will surmount all confusion and sorrow. So then Krishna explains some very secret and important knowledge to Uddhava, which Maitreya also heard. And then Krishna departed, and we have no direct information about that. Here in this section, no direct information is given. And then Uddhava became extremely, extremely troubled. He began to wander around, and he eventually, quickly actually, uh, went to Vrindavan, and that's where he met Vidura. So now Vidura asks Uddhava for an important favor. Let's see. Vidura says, you just got 
this super, super special, important knowledge from Krishna. Can't you tell me? Can you share it with me? Pass it on to me, please. But actually, one of the last things Krishna had said to Uddhava, we'll find out by the end of the chapter, is that Vidura should learn what I told you from Maitreya. And so for this reason, Uddhava tells Vidura, it's not my place to instruct you this knowledge, but you should go find Maitreya and he'll do it. He's still nearby. You can still find him. But Uddhava did not abandon Vidura. They spent the entire night on the shore of River Yamuna, drowning their terrible sorrow in the nectarian elixir of discussing Krishna's qualities. Thus they came to see him everywhere, and the night seemed to pass in an instant. Now, hearing this, Parikshit Maharaj has a question. So he asked Shukdev Goswami, why did Krishna leave Uddhava? He got rid of his entire family. Why did he leave Uddhava? And uh, Shukdev explained that Krishna wanted to leave the world and liberate the people who had become attached to him, take them with him. But also he didn't want to abandon the, the world entirely. So he wanted to leave something important behind so that people could continue to connect to him and become liberated. So he decided that there would be nobody better than Uddhava through which to do this. So that's why he arranged for Uddhava to survive. And then that's why he spoke this very important knowledge to Uddhava right before he departed. Now you might think, well, we didn't hear anything about Uddhava didn't say anything about this knowledge that he got. But we do hear about it throughout the whole rest of Canto 3 and 4 in how Maitreya speaks to Vidura. And also when we get to Canto 11, we're going to hear about it from Uddhava directly. So just before leaving... Okay, so they spent that whole night, Vidura and Uddhava spent the whole night discussing Krishna, and then in the morning, um, Uddhava left for Badri. But before leaving, he told Vidura this. Uddhava also told Vidura that Krishna counted him amongst the very best of his associates and thought of Vidura at the very end. He had said, Vidura should learn these truths from him, Maitreya. When Vidura heard this, he began to wail in the anguish of love. When Uddhav left, Vidura remained near the river Yamuna for a few days in a state of perfect love. Then he went to heaven's river, the Ganges, and met Maitreya, the sagacious son of Mitra. Okay, so that's chapter 4. And that's the end of Vidura's part of the tale. Of the, that's the end of Vidura's section of the third canto.